Hi, I'm Leslie from Book Me, Bite Me, and today I will share with you a little bit about what I've been reading for the past two weeks. What's unique about this post and this share is I didn't finish the book, and I probably won't finish this book for a while. Um, this book is special because it was my mom's top most book on her stack of books on her nightstand. So it's called Thou Givest, They Gather, and it's by Amy Carmichael. So the book itself is pretty old. I think the, it says that the copyright date is 1958, but I think it's a lot older than that. The reason that this book is special to me is because, you know, my mom passed away October 16th, and I've been trying to remember her. So reading her books, has done something special in my heart because I can hear her voice, you know, and that's one of the things that I wanted to share with you today that we often don't think about books as part of a legacy that we leave behind. And, you know, today we live in a digital world and we're thinking, you know, why buy a hard copy, a hard copy book? versus a digital book or using a Kindle or any other e-reader. And those things are great. They're absolutely great. But what I have in my hands right now, it's something that my mom perused and something that she devoured. She highlighted inside of this book. She underlined her favorite quotes. She annotated her, her books. And having that is just like having a piece of her. So that to me was my greatest takeaway from reading this week was the idea that a book or a series of books can be one of the best legacies that we leave behind for our friends or our family members because people want to have something to hold on to and remember and sure i have lots of her things but i really miss her voice and i really miss her guidance and I know those are, th those are things, her voice and guidance are recorded in my heart, they're recorded in my memory, but I also have something special here in her books. The second thing that I want to share with you is the idea of making reading special. So I don't read this book to myself, you know, I don't read it quietly in a comfortable chair or whatever, a special spot or a nook. Um, I choose to read it right here in our living room. And I usually read it out loud in the mornings, a few pages at a time, with my dad. And I share with him the highlights and things that she underlined and her little notes inside of her book. And that's special. There's something beautiful about hearing the words of a book being read out loud and making it an experience, especially given the circumstance that you know, my mom passed away on October 16th, and you know, these are her prized possessions. And being able to share that experience of reading a book out loud, it doesn't exclude anyone. It doesn't keep the experience for myself. I feel like it creates this new experience that expands the meaning of the book even more. So that's my second point to you, to, to find a way to make reading special. You know, I think for a lot of people, reading for inspiration or reading for pleasure, it's something difficult because we don't have the time, but I've made it a part of my morning routine because I want to. And that's something that I, I wish for all of you. Uh, the third thing that I would say is having this lasting impact on things that we purchase and I think you know we we buy things and we so casually discard them and you know this book was a used book and um, you can see my mom used it a lot too in addition to it being purchased as a used book but this is the, the what we say is the spine of the book and you can see the crease you can see that it's well worn here and here and you can see her her tabs she has tabs here. She has one where she has a paper in there, you know, and she often used receipts as her bookmarkers. 
So this idea that we don't have to discard things, that we can share them, pass them along, or even pass them down through the generations. So the content of the book is really rich, and I think it's going to take me a while to get through the book, which is what we say with Book Me, Bite Me, it's savor the read, and partially because I'm reading it out loud a few pages a day with my dad, but also because the content of the book itself is so rich. Um, I want to leave you with one thing that she wrote. You can see here her, um, her annotations, but it's really beautiful. It says, she wrote, my mom, I want to sing like birds, not worrying about who hears and what they think by Rumi. And if you follow our posts, you know I've written a lot about Rumi. But those are my three takeaways for you that, you know, you would find a way to have that strong connection with reading, make it special, and to have a legacy, something that you can pass down through the generations. Hopefully one day I can pass this down to my own kids and they can pass it to theirs. This is Thanksgiving week and I'm so grateful that I have things like this from my mom that I can treasure and hold on to and share with you. God bless you and I hope you have a beautiful Thanksgiving week. Take care.